What a fancy intro. So I'm, uh, 2015 for us is about new beginnings and I'm very excited about that. I uh, had a great massage experience. I mentioned yesterday about how I was going for a massage. Ray Baron in town, uh, 905-878-9041. And what I like about Ray is that she really took a look at the whole picture. We did a bit of a posture assessment and figured out something uh, that was kind of throwing the whole system off. Uh, very simple to fix. So I appreciated it. It was a great massage. Uh, feel terrific today and ready to get started with some new listings. So I hope you enjoyed the guide. Feel free to give us some feedback and off we go. So we're going to compare two village townhouses uh, built by Madame. First one is 78 Suter Sweeter Court, uh, 376.999. And so it is a current model. It's 1195 square feet. It's got a good floor plan. And what I like about this is that there was one sale of this model that was way beyond, like it was just, it was an outlier. It was, it was beyond anything that ever sold. And I'm glad that they listened to the other five or six sales and not that one weird situation, probably from like an out of town agent that didn't understand prices. Anyway, it's a, uh, this one tends to get lumped in the category of some of the larger homes. There's a little desk up in the top floor. There's also two full bathrooms upstairs and a pretty nice open concept main floor. So in the 370 to 380 range is where most of these end up selling. And uh, I think they chose the right price. 375 would have given them a little bit more momentum in terms of exposure because the price range is 350 to 375. 375 to $400,000 on sites like MLS.ca. Still a very good one. Now compare that with this one on short read at 379. Now this is 1051 square feet, but you definitely feel a big difference in this one in terms of size. And the other thing is none, none of these have ever sold over 350. So uh, I don't know what they're thinking at 379. I know that they've upgraded some of the flooring uh, the staircase looks nice. Uh, there's some crown molding upstairs, which wouldn't cost you very much to put in. But uh, short read is a nice street. I don't want to take anything away from the street. I think the first shot is like with this weird blue sky is a little bit ominous. But anyway, there's no way this one's going to touch 379 or anywhere close. Now we mentioned the Bolton model townhouse yesterday, 1275 square feet, and I believe the price was 389. This is the best deal for a townhouse over $400,000. It's a little bigger than the Bolton. You get a second full bathroom upstairs. Um, the kitchen is a little bit plain, but you could work with something like this. Finished basement, even towards the end of last year, this model with a finished basement was regularly selling 415, 420, 425. So at 409, there's enough of a discount there that you can do a little bit of work in this one. And it's called an Emery model. It's 1370 square feet and it's got a really nice floor plan. Nice listing. Now we move to the sixth listing in the list, uh, 888 McNaughton Court. And I, I'm curious, um, the, the eights have significance in uh, Chinese culture. So I wonder if that opens up a bit of a different audience. Um, my understanding is eights, uh, I, I believe, mean good luck. I mean, I'd love some clarification on that, but I know it's a good thing in, in Chinese culture. So it's in Dorset Park. It's on a big pie-shaped lot. I actually sold this home a couple years ago. So the people who bought it are now putting it back out on the market. Um, it's a five bedroom home because what they did was they actually, if you look at the front shot is they built over top of the garage with an addition and there's a, a ensuite bathroom and a closet on this side. Um, that's the door to get into the master bedroom. And I think aesthetically speaking, the bed would have been better over here because it probably cuts off some of the flow of, uh, kind of walking traffic. There's your ensuite bath. Uh, they've done some work upstairs. There's no, no doubt about that. Uh, basement looks like it's all set up for a home theater. Those are sound dampening panels. Uh, the TV almost looks like it's too small for that for for that sort of home theater. But whatever, it's uh, it can look different in person. There's a big pie shaped lot here, and 
over here it's kind of it kind of faces uh, Thompson Road so you do get a bit of road noise you can see the the hydro lines right there um, you know lot size good uh, the house looks pretty decent there's your addition right there the master bedroom is right above the garage um, I don't know I'm, I'm not sure what to think about this price they might get it they might have a bit of a struggle it's it's hard to say it's a it's a bit of an interesting animal this property so there's the list uh, if you have any questions or if you want to see anything in this list or anything at all on the market we're definitely there to help and uh, you can reach us at 905-693-9346 thank you very much for tuning in to Milton Daily Homes